Today we're going to show you how to change the ice bin auger drum on your refrigerator. It's a pretty easy job, only going to need a few tools, a quarter inch nut driver, and a flat blade screwdriver, and probably a pair of channel locks. Let me show you how to do it. To replace the drum on the auger bin, you first need to shut off the ice maker, just raise the shut off arm, slide the ice bin out, and we'll put it on a flat surface where we can work on it. The next step in this repair will be to remove the front cover from the bin. It's held in place by five quarter inch hex head screws, two on each side, and one in the middle just above the auger. Now slide the cover away from the drum. Next we're going to remove four more quarter inch hex head screws, two on the inside of the drum, and two on the bottom side. This secures the housing to the ice bin. We'll turn it upside down again. We're ready to pull the housing off of the front, but we need to remove one more screw that holds the actuator arm for the crusher. Take note of the location of the retaining spring. In case it becomes dislodged, we'll know where to put it back to. Next, we'll remove the E-ring from the end of the auger shaft using a flat blade screwdriver. Slide it out of its groove. Set that aside. And also remove the large flat washer as well. Next, we'll remove the auger from the front housing. Just carefully slide it out. Expose the crusher arms and the assembly. Now that we have the auger assembly removed from the housing, we need to remove this nylon nut on the very end of the shaft. And it's a left-hand thread. A pair of channel locks work nicely on that. And there's a series of bushings and cutter arms that will have to come off. So we want to lay those out carefully so we know how to put them back together. Or if you have a digital camera, it's a good time to take a picture of it. Cutter bars are either numbered or lettered. Slide the cover off of the drum. And remove the drum. The old drum had a drive bar that was keyed to the shaft that sat into the drum so the drum would drive when the shaft turned. The replacement drum is keyed to the shaft, so it doesn't need the driver arm anymore. But they do supply a large flat washer that will go on to the shaft first. And the Arger drum. Keeping the recess side on first. Next, we'll install the cover. And we'll begin to reinstall cutter arms. There's the bushing, cutter arm, another bushing. It's probably best to pre-assemble this piece. Insert two bushings first. And slide a cutter arm between them. Just another spacer. A third cutter arm. Last spacer. And the retaining nut. Remember that's a left hand thread. Make sure everything turns freely. Tighten the nut with a pair of channel lock pliers. 
Next, we're going to locate the pin on the fixed cutter bar block in the cover. Line it carefully with the housing. Slides through. At this point, we can install a large thrust washer and the E-ring. A pair of channel lock pliers is the best tool to use to snap that E-ring back into place. Make sure it's in the proper position. this assembly back into the bin. Before we reassemble the auger assembly into the drum, we need to install the guard over the end of the auger and make sure that it lines up with the end of the spring. And then the notch in the coupling is lined up with the end of the spring as well. It may be easier to stand the assembly on end. Next we'll slide the bin down over the whole assembly. Lay it flat. I'm ready to reinstall some retaining screws. Tighten any of the screws until we've started them all. Make sure everything lines up. Next, we'll reattach the spring and mounting clip to the crusher arm. Next, install the three inside quarter inch hex head screws. Secure the housing to the pin. So we can snug up these screws now. of the auger, make sure it turns freely. And we're ready to put the front housing on. Install the one screw inside the drum. And the remaining four on the sides. Again, we'll check the operation, make sure the auger turns freely. And we're ready to reinstall it into the refrigerator. We'll simply slide the ice bin back on its track. Don't forget to lower the ice maker shutoff arm. And our repair is complete.